Hey everybody, I got a special treat for you today. I'm here at the home of one of my friends I met at, from the California Rare Fruit Growers Club. And look at this beautiful specimen here. This is the Kona Sharwell avocado tree. And oh my goodness, it is just magnificent and beautiful and just fantastic in every way. I love this tree so much. This is my ideal shape, size, height for an avocado tree. It's just fantastic. Let's come and take a closer look. Look at the leaves, beautiful leaves, dark green. This tree is so healthy. Dark green leaves. Good amount of fruit up here. Look at all these beautiful fruit. Kona Sharwell. Amazing fruit set. Wow. Wow, I'm in love. Look at that. More fruit up here. I think the season is coming up. The season is, uh, when is the season on here? What is it? When, when does the harvest time for the... I guess now. Now's the harvest? Yeah. Like okay. If you look at this plantings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're here in March. This is March, Southern California, Zone 10B. And stuff is starting to really show itself. Look at that gorgeous, fantastic tree. This tree is only three years old, right? In the ground? Three years in the ground and it's now it's like a solid 10, 12 feet tall. It's just beautiful and perfect. Uh, this tree was uh, planted from a three gallon, right? A small pot, a five gallon pot. And look at it now, fantastic. This is, uh, the owner knows what she's doing. She knows exactly what she's doing. Look at all the mulch on the ground. Heavy, heavy layer of mulch. And that contributes to, and what, that's why the tree looks so great because avocado loves a heavy layer of mulch all around it and all that stuff. Dead leaf matter. I think this is a passion fruit vine, right? Yeah. It's a dead passion fruit vine, but avocado loves its own leaves as well all around the tree. And another major factor contributing to why this tree is so healthy is this skirt. You see these bottom, these low branching, low branches over here? This is, this is what's called the avocado skirt all around the tree. And that, leaving the skirt on the tree does so many things. I think a lot of plant, I think a lot of people when they plant their avocado tree, their first instinct is to take away these bottom, these weeping branches. But every commercial avocado grower, every professional grower of trees, every orchard owner always leaves the skirt because it does so many things. It blocks out the sun. It doesn't let the sun go into the, canop into the trunk area. And avocado doesn't want the trunk area disturbed. The, the, this, this skirt, what it also does is it, it holds in moisture. It doesn't let, the sun, uh, doesn't let the sun dry out this area. And that keeps the roots nice and happy. And the skirt also has, acts as insulation as well. In the, in the summertime, it keeps the roots cool, nice and cool. And in the wintertime, it keeps the roots nice and warm. So this little avocado skirt thing does a lot of stuff. And I, I don't cut down the bottom the bottom branches of any of my trees I leave the skirt on and and that contributes to some awesome awesome fruit fruit set nice avocados this is a beautiful tree I love it look at that man oh man all right I'm gonna just stop I'll stop video and just stare at this tree for a few more minutes thanks guys for watching